Good morning everybody and welcome back to a new vlog at home of course. Today I am going to tackle cleaning out the refrigerator and then we're just going to see what other tasks I get. Today I wanted to do a cleaning day at the house and catch up on laundry so that's what we're going to do and let's get started on this refrigerator. It's kind of a mess. I've started on the first shelf and then figured I should come film an intro so here's the plan. All right so the first shelf is done and I took out the shelf and then I just took everything off this shelf. As you can see, ewees, ewee gooeys everywhere. <laughs> so we're taking these all out and I'm gonna wash them. And we're just gonna go shelf by shelf and then organize this chaos. And also the door. Let's begin, shall we? much better today it is what it is like that's how I'm thinking of it today yesterday I was like my I couldn't even sleep last night I was having issues falling asleep I felt like I had restless legs but not just on my legs but in my chest everywhere it was not a good day today I am channeling that energy into cleaning there you go yeah taking it day by day this is the best thing that we can do and we're just going with the flow. You well, know. That's what I said. It's like you want to turn a negative into a positive. <laughs> There's like cardboard stuck to the glass in the fridge. So I'm cleaning out the bottom bit, which is the last part of the fridge that I need to clean out. And this is probably the most disturbing part of the fridge. So let's get this done and then we'll do the doors and then that will be it. Everything's good to go. Thank you. 
So I've just finished cleaning out the refrigerator, so I'm gonna have Larry come in and I'm gonna show him and see what he thinks and see what you guys think because I think I did a good job. Am I the refrigerator inspector? You're the inspector. Ready? Yep. Okay. Oh. Wow. How'd I do? Nice job. Thanks. I mean, I don't have like those perfect little supply glass containers to put everything in specific containers. I don't have all that, but I organized. So up here is our milks and our creamers. Funny thing is, is these three creamers all have the same amount of creamer in them. There's like that much left. So these are the sugar frees and those are the non sugar frees, but all three of these will be finished today. Then we have our water filter. All the beverages are down here. So we have water and then unsweetened black tea, then vitamin waters, then we have little Seagram's, and then my Starbucks ex espresso, and then a sugar-free Red Bull, and then butter is back there. Butter. <sighs> Down here, these three are leftover containers. This is Lexi Kitty's food, yogurt, whipped cream, salsa. So just this is basically leftover and container. And here is a cheese drawer and cream cheese. And then we have little chocolates. These are leftover noodles. This shelf has applesauce and then nothing else. And then this pull-out drawer, this is the produce that we have left. <laughs> and then this one's empty. And then the bottom drawer is for medicines. And then this is like, I don't really know, random. So we have gravy, Parmesan cheese, fruit. Um, pizza sauce. Up here is more of like everyday condiments. So we have mayo, sriracha, tomato, ketchup, mustard, jalapenos, and then these items back here we don't really use that much. And then up here are like my salad fixings. Pickles and then eggs. So this is everything that we have. Nicely done, Mink. Thanks, babe. Glad you like it. Yes. Next job will be the freezer. Yes, we did. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Friday. It is currently Hi. Friday the, is it 20, the 20th? 20th. The 20th. First day of spring. <laughs> so yesterday's vlog kind of just ended, and basically you guys saw me cleaning out the refrigerator. That's all taken care of. And then Larry and I, unfortunately, went out yesterday. We, we did, true story. Yes, we did. We confess. And we're confessing. We want to be 100% honest and transparent with you guys. We weren't planning on going out. We did not want to go out, but we had two things to do. Number one was go to the post office. Um, we checked the P.O. box and then we went to drop off our tax stuff. <sighs> and then we get to the post office. Yeah, we had to drop off our tax stuff at the post because our post people are not in this state or our tax people are not in this state that we use. Um, they're from Ohio, where we're from. So we had to go to the post office. So that's why we went out. So I'm like, if we're gonna go out, we might as well go out now while things are still open, kind of. Um, and then we get to the post and then she's like, oh, they actually did delay tax season. They pushed it back two months. Now that's what the post lady told me. I haven't looked into that, um, but that's what she said. And that's what she said. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. And then um, we decided to stop at the grocery store uh, to pick up a few things because it's right by the post office. It's right by the post office, and that's what we did. And so I'm going to share what we picked up with you guys. This is now going to be like the last haul for a while, food-wise. We have what we need to get through. We didn't have to get very much. Yeah, we didn't have to get much, but we did get a few essentials. And now Larry and I do have to stay home for 14 days, like, or 15 days, whatever the necessary quarantine is. Like, we're staying home. I am a little e uneasy about the fact that we went out, to be honest. But this is life. We went out to grab a few things, and now we are absolutely 100% staying home. Yes. So now I'm going to show you guys what we picked up at the store. The funniest thing ever, I was out of peanut butter and jelly. Like that's such a classic thing to get. Like I had no peanut butter. I had like a tiny bit in the bottom of the jar and it's just something that I don't usually eat. But in times like this, um, when you're gonna run out of fresh produce, you're gonna need some peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> so let me show you guys what we picked up. Some of the stuff is like junk food, some things that I don't ever usually eat, but here we are. So, <gasps> bacon's ready. Larry's cooking us some bacon. 
So I have been craving banana bread. So I found this banana walnut loaf at Publix. And then these are super good. These zucchini nut muffins. So I picked up those. These are Larry's. <laughs> these are Larry's custard filled long johns. They are the best. They're called long johns? I guess so. Yeah, I just thought they were custard filled donuts, but technically they're called long johns. I've heard them called Boston cream pies before. But yeah, they're good. The next thing we picked up is bananas. These are going dark. I told you guys before, I love picking up bananas because I can freeze these and add them to my smoothie. So actually today, I'm gonna chop these up, put them in containers, freeze them, and then these will be the fresh bananas. You can never go wrong with buying bananas for that reason. All right, moving over here. Here's my good old peanut butter, salsa, and spaghetti sauce. This friggin' spaghetti sauce container is absolutely huge, but got that. It'll last. It will last. The next things we picked up is whole grain rice, because rice takes you a long way, and then kidney beans. And I never buy them in bags like this, but that's what was available. So I got those. And then at Publix, it was buy one, get one for the Green Giant Vegetables 4-pack. So I got sweet peas, cut green beans. Let's bring out the ooh, crispy bacon, yum. Um, and then we also got another buy one, get one. And then we got cut green beans and whole cornels. Cornels? <laughs> <laughs> Cornholios. <laughs> then we got these shelled walnuts. I love nuts. I love adding nuts to my oatmeal in the morning or to my yogurt. So they were also buy one, get one. They're the diamond California shelled walnuts. So shelled, shelled. Yeah. Anyways, so we got those. I got Alfredo sauce to pour over broccoli. I, I bought some, actually, no, I didn't buy it. I had frozen vegetables in the fridge. So this is good to like pour over vegetables if you just want a little bit of something, something, you know? Then another buy one, get one. Publix is really great for that. We have the Raisin Bran Crunch Original. You got it, buy one, get one free. And then I couldn't help myself. I'm like into a banana thing lately. They also had with bananas, so I also got to buy one, get one. Plus, my mom brought up to me, she's like, I, cause I don't buy fruit with cereal in it or cereal with fruit in it because, why is the screen black? There we go. Because I always add natural or real fruit to it. So she's like, you might want to get some of that just in case you can't get a hold of fresh fruit for a while, which is probably going to be true. And you'll be able to have it in your cereal. So we got two of those. And then we got no salt added sauce. We got a few cans of those. This is what Larry uses as his spaghetti sauce. Moving into the refrigerator, we got another almond milk. It's back there. I picked out this Starbucks Blonde Roast Unsweet Coffee because it's getting hot here in Florida and if I want a nice coffee, I figured I would go for that. And then for the first time ever, I know there's a lot of coffee creamers back there, but some of them are almost empty and they'll be finished soon. I bought this big, big boy creamer. So that's that. My new jelly, I picked out strawberry jam, the Pepto-Bismol, all of these that we've had here in, for a while. Um, let's see, is there anything new in these cabinets? No, these are all there. We already had the eggs. Um, what did we buy? Oh, Larry's popcorn chicken, he picked out that. The cheese drawer, I picked up Swiss cheese. Uh -oh. And then we got a bacon and then there is a ground beef in there now. The ground beef, no, not buy one, get one. The ground beef was, oh, bacon was buy one, get one. So we got two of those. But the ground beef, chicken, any kind of ground meat or fresh meat produce was limited to one per household. So we were able to get one ground beef, which was very lucky because I know a lot of people that can't even find any fresh meat. Fresh meat, that sounds disturbing. Um, ground meat. Anyways, we're going to change the subject. But yeah, so we got one. It was nice. It was unusual for us to be limited to like one item per household, but it was nice that they did that because it was there for us to find when we went to look for Very it. Very true. Yeah. Yes. And it helps other families get them because I'm 
not gonna lie. In my mindset, I was like, oh, I'll grab two. One for my spaghetti, one for Larry's spaghetti because we, we make our foods differently. So I was gonna grab two of them. And then I saw the sign and I was like, oh, that kind of stinks. And I was like, well, actually that's kind of good because all the other people in the store, there was only like seven of them. I was like, other people in the store and other families are gonna have a chance to get them. So it's actually a very good thing that they're doing that yeah, in times like this. The bread aisle, those were the two big ones yeah. that had limits on. Meat and things. bread. And we were able to find bread and, and meat. So yep. it worked out good. Yes, it did. However, since we redid the kitchen, there was a lot of things that when we moved the refrigerator and the stove out that hadn't been cleaned underneath for a while, we used a lot of... Um, Lysol wipes yeah, and Clorox bleach cleaner and... wipes on the yeah. appliance and underneath. And we're out of those and that's something you're probably not going to see in the store. You can't too much. get it. <laughs> So and I was like, fun. of all the times for us to like do a deep clean and use all of our stuff, that, that well, here we are, but that's what yeah. happened. Any other time, we would have been fine, but it just happened that we timed it bad. Yeah. And then fresh fruit. I picked up raspberries. We're buy one, get one free. And then a pack of strawberries. And then we got oven roasted turkey breast and smoked ham. Now, moving on to the freezer, which I have never, ever in our lives seen our freezer this full ever, ever, ever. Our freezer is normally something that is empty. Here's all my bananas. <laughs> um, Larry picked up ice cream. A lot of you guys were asking how I freeze bread. Okay, so what you do is you basically just take part of it, you put it in a freezer bag or anything like that, and you literally just freeze it. And then when you're ready to use it, you take it out, you leave it out on your counter and it thaws and then you can continue on. We also have a frozen lunch meat in here. I've never done that before, but I did it. Um, um, yeah, a big sale on ice cream. So Larry picked up this one and then, or maybe it was these two that he picked up. Um, we also got more hot dogs. Okay, what is in here? Oh, fruit. I never get fruit because freaking frozen fruit is expensive, but I picked up this. It's the mixed fruit blend. And then two more of the bacons because they were buy one, get one. Um, oh, we got a couple of pot pies. I got the turkey pot pie, a beef and broccoli bowl, another items that I never get. I don't get boxed meals like that, but we did. Um, this I had. I got some garlic bread. Took it out of the box because we didn't have room in here. So I picked up that. We had the mozzarella sticks. Um, oh, I picked up a California pizza, the margarita. Uh, there's another frozen turkey because I like turkey. Larry likes ham. And then we froze this a while back. And then this is the loaf of bread that we currently have out. So I froze this. It didn't all fit in one bag. This is the wheat bread that I froze. And then up there was white bread for Larry. And then all of this we already had. Here was the frozen fruit. I showed this on my Instagram. It was fresh fruit that I had that was about to go bad. So I just put it in this container and I froze it. And then all the vegetables we already had. So that is what we picked up. Noodles. This is the only noodles that were left, the whole grain. I don't know why people weren't getting the whole grain. Yeah. <laughs> They bought all the regular stuff and left the healthy stuff there. Yeah, so we got whole grain noodles, and then I also picked up, and I don't know why I haven't been doing this all along, all along, but it's the taco seasoning packets and chili seasoning packets, because I figured if we run out of stuff, we, why is it so dark? We can add this to rice and flavor the rice that way, so picked up a few seasoning packets. Now that is all and we are good to go. I'm checking the pantry to see if we picked up anything else. Oh, wait, peanut butter. That wasn't the peanut butter. Wait, is this the peanut butter? No, I already showed you guys the peanut butter. This is what I have left. Um, anyways, guys, besides that, besides going out in the public yesterday, we are now staying home and it is time for home vlog. So we're gonna eat breakfast. Larry just put, cook, cooked, cooked. Larry just cooked the bacon and I need to figure out what I'm gonna have and put the camera down and then I will pick it up and show you what I picked out to eat. All right, so my breakfast is a grapefruit and the zucchini nut and bacon and then Larry has his deluxe breakfast. He has bacon, cinnamon French toast and sausage and we're also doing laundry today, yay! <laughs> So that's going on in the background.
Oh yeah, that one get one free laundry detergent. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got laundry detergent. That was buy one get one free too. So. Hey. Hi, baby. She always does this when it's time to eat. Don't you? You have eye boogers. Okay, all done. Anyway, she always likes to hop up here and eat with us. She's a very good girl though. She doesn't stick her paws or anything in the food. She just kind of sits right here with us, don't you? Yes, you do. I'm on a mission with our little nut. We have a little get-go, little, 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 inside the lanai that I'm going to try and get and rescue him and take him outside so Lexi doesn't get him. So let's go around here. <gasps> She's following me. <laughs> okay. I'm going to set you guys on this thing. Guys, that was the easiest gecko save ever. That never happens. It's not that easy. He just jumped right on in. There's lots of them out today. There's one up there, and then one over there. Hello. Hi, little one. Hi. Come on, let's go finish breakfast. So, Larry and I said that when we, I'm blurry, when we cleaned underneath the refrigerator and everything, we used like a lot of our bleach spray and a lot of our wipes. So this is full now, but I will tell you why. Why are we so bright? There we go. Um, we have a big bottle of bleach. So what I did was I poured bleach in here, like I filled the bottle a quarter of the way, and then I just topped it off with water and I mean, actually I might do it from now on instead of buying these over and over and over and over and spending three, almost four dollars. So I don't know if it's the same thing, but there's bleach in here and a water mixture and kills the germs. So that's what I'm doing. Right, babe? Right. You think it works? Let me smell the counter see if it smells like bleach. It smells like bleach to me. We're good to go. Mummy, sound like the the baby friggin' T Rex. What was that? Oh, it was a crow. I feel like the baby T Rex dinosaur. That <laughs> call him for its mom. What the heck? <laughs> oh man. Okay, I can't use the excuse day six of quarantine anymore. We're on day one all over again. Day one all over. All right. My plan is I want to organize the pantry for the kitchen, that's what I want to do today. I wish I had glass containers. I was looking them up online, but they're like $100 for a pack of, I don't know if it was 10 or 12, and I don't know, just can't do that right now. So, I was gonna order them online. Oh, the other big thing I meant to tell you guys, which is why we had to go to the freaking store in person, is, I was trying to do an online order through Walmart and other grocery stores and they're sold out of everything online. So that was the other reason we went out. Anyways, I'm done justifying why we went out yesterday. It is what it is. We went out and we got food. <laughs> but anyways, plan today. I want to organize the pantry, which is gonna be a huge project, and then focus on laundry. So, ooh. And I need to edit this vlog for you guys too to go up tomorrow. 
I was surprised that there were more people out yesterday than I thought there would be. But That's everybody that we encountered was very polite, very nice. Yeah, it, I felt... I don't know, I felt weird going out yesterday. I felt like, I don't know, criminal? Is that the right word to say? Like, I just felt weird being out at the stores. I felt weird. like I was being judged. It, it's kind of like when you've been someplace for years, but there was a section you weren't allowed to go into. Yeah. But then you reach the point where they said, okay, now you're allowed to go in there. And you yeah. go in and you know you're allowed to be there, but you still feel like you shouldn't. shouldn't. That was probably what it is. My conscious, I conscience, whatever it is. I was, I was very aware that I shouldn't be there and Larry and I shouldn't be out, but um, yeah, everybody in the stores was great. Everybody was really nice and respectful and which is a really good sign. Um, but yeah, we got in, we got out, we got what we needed, and that was that. Oh, we met a viewer in the checkout line, too. She was the cashier that checked us out, and I did not get her name, but we were talking to her about everything that was going on, too, and she was so nice. And I want to thank her for working and being there through all of this, and thank you to everybody who is working. Yes. Um, I know that's a touchy sub sub subject subject, but I want to okay. thank the all first responders, Special. police, merit, military, fire, um, the RNs, yeah, the dispatchers, LPNs, healthcare in general, and all the people that are working at the stores, and then truck drivers. My dad is a truck driver, and all the the delivery people who are stocking the shelves. So I want to thank everybody that is working. I know it's a fine line between being happy and excited that people are still working and then like a sadness because people are still working because there's a lot of people if that makes sense my point is is there's a lot of people that are very thankful that they're working so they can still earn money but then there's the other side that they're scared because they're going to bring it back home to their family and then there's the other side where there's people that are laid off and are not earning money and they're worried about jobs and having a job and people are unemployed it's just such a fine line of what's going on but i'm done talking about all that today I don't know if you guys want us to talk about that. We try to, if, when we do talk about everything that's going on, we try to make it very positive, factual, uplifting in the best way possible. Yeah, also my mom gave me a tip, my mom and dad. I was raised on cloth diapers. I didn't have like disposable diapers. So for those that haven't been able to get diapers or for those that just cannot get toilet paper, um, I know it's gross, but here's the reality. We might all have to have designated cloths for, you know, the bathroom and you're just gonna have to bleach them and wash them if you have bleach or wash them in hot water and sanitize them with your laundry soap but it might come to that and for those that don't have anything to use this is just what you're gonna have to do I'm sure they, they, they know I'm yeah. sure but for those of you who don't know and you know just thought I would share that actually I didn't think I'll, I'll be honest I didn't think about it until mom said it she started saying you could just use a cloth and I was like oh it's something that I honestly didn't think of, but now that I've been told, of course, I'm like, well, yeah, obviously, of course, but uh, obviously. obviously. All right, let's get started on this task, guys. I'm going to look in there and even figure out and plan what I need to do before I start filming anything. I'm actually going to tie a rope around her waist so if she's in there for like five hours and I don't see her anymore, <laughs> I'll still have the rope. I can try and pull her back to the kitchen. Yeah. But in the meantime, I'm going to do some yard work and do some pool maintenance. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. And then I'm going to plug in my handy dandy little speaker and jam out to some music while I film. Here's the problem. It looks like there's a lot here, but there's actually not. And I had these bins. Well, actually, there is. There is a lot here, isn't there? There is a lot. I had bins in here and everything was organized. This is why I wish we had glass jars because there's so many freaking bags of chips. There was one time I was on my, you know what, well right before it and I bought like five bags of chips and I don't eat chips and so now they're all sitting here. This is buy one get one free on the chips so you gotta that was with that was bags. That was why buy one get one. All right, so, okay. All right, I'm gonna turn this around. Do not judge us. <laughs> I know you guys have seen it, but um, 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 okay, this is, this is how it is, okay? Okay. So, we have cereal and protein powder up top, also a Christmas tree, and then a whole shelf of I don't know what is in those bags. 
And then this is all taken up by like cooking supplies where this could be utilized as a good space. There's stuff up here that I haven't touched since we've lived here, so I need to go through all of that. Okay, so this is the section that has turned into bags and bags of like chips and stuff. So, I need to go through that. It would be nice to have those jars so I can put all the pretzels in one, all the tortilla chips in one, Larry's popcorn in one. That would be great. Um, and then down here is where I had things kind of organized. So, this was all of the tea. This was, I don't know, I don't even know what this was. Oh, this looks like tea overflow and nuts and noodles. This was canned soups, which is labeled noodles and rice, so that's all wrong. And then there's a bag of chips that I just threw in there. Um... A few cans. This is winter whatever is from winter time, and I never drank it because I don't really drink pop. We have Larry's police bag, we have some noodles, and then another bin of supplies that we don't use. This shelf we don't use. That is all my leftover coffee mugs that I don't use on the daily that are holiday mugs and stuff like that. These are bags from the store that we've had for years that we just have shoved in here to use for something else. Um, yes, that is a lot of plastic bags. It's plastic and we need to go to these bags, but we have them. So that is a plus and we'll be doing that moving forward. Then we have a couple of boxes of coffee and whatever. And then Keurig, Keurig items, coffee, tea, and hot chocolate. This is where I have all, oh geez, all the other K-cups just fell over in the back. Is this empty? I bet it is. Oh no, there's two left in there. I need to, see, I need to take that out, take the two out, and put it somewhere else. A bag of half-eaten Pringles or container. Shove up there. Now this is all the coffee that I have accumulated in the last year, I would say. So we have, this was a Christmas gift from my mom. And this is why I decided not to buy any more K-cups because... I have all of these in here, so save those. Noodles, snacks, junk, Twizzlers in the bottom, stuff, I don't know. Lexi Kitty's food, which needs to be reorganized. Down here we have a couple of containers, Lexi's flea medicine, storage Ziploc bags, ramen noodles, tea containers that I'm not using but I kept because they're cute. Oh, wonder if I can put something in those. I don't know. Well, they're not see-through, so you wouldn't know what was in them. So those need to go. Random flowers back there. Um, a box of snacks, which is from one of you guys. Some sweets and candies. Katharina, I believe, sent these. Am I right? Yes. Thank you, Katharina. And then more coffee plates. And then we have this mess on the floor, which we have paper towels. We have two rolls here and then three rolls here. This glass thing that was meant to put over there but I couldn't get in the closet. And then we have Larry's Propel drinks. So basically I need to organize these so we can even walk in. You can't even get in here anymore. And then Lexi's dry food. This is Lexi Kitty's collars. You guys are, oh, there's a human behind. Hello. <laughs> you guys are getting like the lowdown on our pantry and what's in here. And I was not gonna show this because to but, me, I, I think it's embarrassing. There's been times I gotta, I gotta come. There's been times where I've gone in there looking for something to snack on without really having a clue what I was looking for. And I look and look and look and then I see that box on the bottom shelf and I went, jackpot! <laughs> they go through there and I find something really good to eat. Yeah, and I know we are very fortunate and very lucky to have everything that we do have in this pantry. And that's another reason why I didn't want to share it either because I don't want people to think that <laughs> we're hoarding it's not hoarding i don't think it's just it's just food that we've accumulated and that we've had over and the times and it's very disorganized and it is it when it's unorganized it looks like you have a lot more when you have stuff shoved in boxes and there's bags everywhere it's just chaotic so my project today is to jam the music chug the coffee was that in there <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, it wasn't in there. I turned the camera to spank your butt. Oh. Um, so th that's the plan. The plan is this closet, and it's going to be a mega organization video. Again, I wish I had jars so I could actually organize these things, but I don't, so we're just going to have to make do with what we have. And I'm going to film some of the process 
but I'm gonna be jamming to music so a lot of it I'm just gonna be doing and then I'll show you guys as I'm like going on like I'll show you updates as I go fingers crossed we get this all done this is a project that I've wanted to start for the last month and a half and just kept putting it off putting it off because obviously you see why um, so I am going to tell you guys now, if you have a pantry that looks like this or your closet that looks like this or you have a certain area in the house that looks like this, the and garage. if you can, or Larry, like the garage, if you can and you have the opportunity today and you're sitting around like, what am I going to do and you don't want to watch any more TV, you want to do something productive, tackle that project with me today now this video will probably be a half hour vlog or a 40 minute vlog and obviously it's going to take hours to do this but watch it get motivated and then after you watch it tackle project so let's get to going light me up don't you stop guess tonight it's on okay here is the before pantry project start I've just almost cleared out all the floor, as you guys saw. And now, I was dancing a little bit, it is time to take what's out of the dryer, out of the dryer, and put the load in the washer into the dryer. So we need to do a swap really quick. That's safe. Guess so, okay, cool. Why does this feel cold and damp? Because it is damp. I don't get it. Just kidding. We're not switching laundry yet because the load in the dryer is still damp. So, all right. Q dryer, jamming music. Ready? Loud. Which reminded me, Hallmark, I apparently, I apparently, apparently, is playing their Christmas films, which is too early for me. I'm not going to watch. It's nice that they're doing that for people who would love to. And I am a huge Christmas person. You guys know this. But I like to savor the moments and get excited for that time of year when it starts to roll around. So I will not be watching them. But I want to let you guys know. And hello, cute little teapot. And this is from Cracker Barrel. They have the cutest holiday seasonal stuff. And for those of you who have fire extinguishers near their kitchen, yeah. keep them in a spot that's handy. Don't be like us and have them buried Buried. on the bottom shelf behind all the kitchen toys and stuff. Where are you going to put them now? I'm not sure. We'll, uh, we'll wait until everything gets cleaned. And what about on top of the fridge? Um, that's kind of a quick grab because if yeah. something catches fire in the stove, run over there, grab it. and. and, and Primarily, your oven is probably going to be the cause of the fire. So, if you have a cabinet above your oven, a lot of times that's not where you normally store things that, that are. You know, don't don't put them on top of that because if they're swing shooting up, you're not going to be able to get to them. Put them somewhere away from the probable source so that they're ready at hand and you can take care of them. Be smart. So All right. We'll put them up here for now. Sorry for the annoying ting ting tingling tinging noises. It's the dryer, but what can we do? 
Oh, my battery's dying, so I'm gonna change that right quick. Right. Oh my god, Larry finished right quick right at the perfect moment before the camera died and he was making fun of me for my right quick slang. Do you guys say right quick or do you hate that? And then, this fool... I pity the fool. <laughs> he just opened the dishwasher and I'm running it and bubbles went flying out. I yeah, always miss the best moment. There was a bunch of stuff that came out. It's on the floor. And of course, I walked around the corner in the living room to get the charged battery and all I see is a bubble flying out. Well, bubbles. And I was like, oh, what is that? And then I realized he opened it and I was like, it's running. <laughs> Anyways, cue the time lapse. Uh, I'll stop and talk to you guys when there's something interesting or that's, like something. Uh, that's one of the drawbacks of having a very quiet dishwasher. <laughs> yeah, it's so quiet you never know if it's running or not. But there's a red light on the floor. Yeah, well, you know, nobody looks at a man's shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Andy Dufresne. That's right. Shawshank Redemption. I wasn't looking at the floor, I was looking at the dishwasher. So come guys, what Larry's doing right now, I'm stopping to tell you guys. Now, I know we're all trying to do our best to contain the use of plastic, but when you buy canned goods or things from the store, like pretty much everything unfortunately comes in plastic. But Larry is currently cutting this, these. My dad taught me this too when I was younger. I've done it forever, so as Larry. If you guys don't know, when you take these off of your canned goods or canned items, meant to do is cut the rings because animals can get stuck in them and they can get stuck around their nose and their mouth and then something bad could happen to them so always always cut your plastic items that are like that let me know your thoughts in the comments below I'm sorry there's gonna be a lot of plastic in this vlog I'm very sorry about that it's just unfortunately how things are packaged nowadays. everything you buy comes in plastic you know but we're gonna recycle these items. I'm gonna put all the plastic items in a big bag and we're gonna recycle them. Um, well, we don't have a recycling thing. So I'm gonna put them all in a bag, store them somewhere in the garage. Thank you, Larry, adding to your clutter. And then we're gonna get that figured out and see if we can add a recycling service because I think that's important. And that is what we are going to do with all the plastic that comes on these items that I'm gonna go through today. So. jars they're little babies so this is kind of like oh it's got a crack in it so these are kind of like what I'm looking for to store foods in these are small I would love bigger ones for noodles and chips and everything like that but this is a start this will do yay I'll figure out what to put in there soon I have three of those and then the coffee these are actually I got this for my wedding shower they're to make tea and stuff in but I don't ever use them honestly so I figured I could just turn it this way and turn it into a jar I can't store food in here like this would have been great for noodles but this is not airtight so I thought instead of having a bunch of boxes of k-cups I could store them in here it's afternoon nappy time she loves laying on this and it keeps her nice and warm hi are you enjoying outside? Our um, pantry is starting to look so much better. We're clearing things out. And then, but <laughs> this out here is starting to look like a very overwhelming situation. But we're gonna keep on going. And we are committed now. There's no turning back at all. What's the matter? Is everything changing in here? <laughs> She just walked around the corner, she was outside napping and she saw everything in the kitchen and she started sniffing pots and pans. But, we've started putting stuff away. So I've got all of the crock pots here. Big one, medium one, baby one, a food processor or chopper, 
the handheld mixers. This is full of dust. I have to wipe the top off of this, but this is like a perfect pan for stir fries. It was buried, didn't even know I had it. I think my dad got it for me a while ago. And then the George Foreman, but I don't think it's called a George Foreman, but the large nonstick griddle. My dividers for one family comes over, the lighter plastic one, and then the ceramic one. And then the coffee pot only fits up there. It doesn't fit in between here. And then the um, toaster. Oh, big pots here. Those are big seafood pots. And then that's what we've got done so far. Having fun? Yeah. <laughs> I have just come outside for a little lunch break. I am hungry. It is currently two, two. it's already two o'clock, holy mother. Um, so I made some yogurt. I used the plain yogurt and I added granola to it, honey and allspice. And then I just chopped up a few strawberries and put raspberries on it and this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna eat this. Larry's not hungry yet, so he's still going to town in there. But I'm gonna take a couple of minutes, eat this outside, enjoy the weather and the fresh air, and then go back inside and continue on with the pantry. <laughs> what a job, man, what a job. <laughs> but we got the time, don't we? Mm -hmm. Look who's joining me on my little lunch break. We've got this little one, and we've got this one. Hi. And Larry is taking a break with me while I eat. Hi, Lexi. And then he's going to start on the pool. He's going to brush the sides, and I'm going to continue on to the pantry. But we're enjoying a little break time, aren't we, Lexi? Yes, we are. We need it, huh? On to my third cup of coffee, and I now have just finished the hazelnut. So I am finally getting rid of the ones, the coffee creamers in the fridge that only have, like, a tiny bit of creamer in it. So this one is now completely empty. And let's make our third cup of coffee, shall we? So, I'm finally organizing the tea section and I was thinking there has got to be a better way to store tea than this, like putting all the boxes in here See, that's what happens. You have so much in here that you just can't see what you have. So I was looking on Pinterest and I found this and I was like, oh, I wish I had a clear organizer like that or something. And then I found, where did I put it? This is the problem now. Oh, here, this. And I was like, oh, I can kind of stack them in here. And this was the egg container that Larry and I were gonna donate. I just took out the egg portion of it, and then I'm gonna save this and stack them like lengthwise and see how that goes. And then it would be cuter. I need to clean it, it's dirty, but yes! Using what we have instead of going out and buying something. Not that we can go out and buy anything at, at but never mind. Seriously, nobody needs this much tea, or at least I don't. I drink coffee mainly, but somehow I have all this tea. Ugh! Oh, I don't have enough room. Larry's getting ready to clean the pool and he had me come outside to look at this. This is our filter and it's like a tornado war whirlpool. It's probably common for a lot of pools, but I've not seen it this strong in this pool. Look at that. Some of it has to do with the fact that it, the water level is, is too high. Can you hold this underwater? Yeah. Oh, there goes the turtle! <laughs> All right, can I get your Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Well, I see why. We had to hold on to that. <laughs> yeah. Keep hanging on to that. Okay, I got it. Oh, are you going to hook up the rolly to it so you can vacuum the floor? Yeah. Take that from you. I'm going to put that right in there and I just felt this get sucked right to the bottom of the pool. 
So now your little vacuum cleaner works. So. And the wheels are fixed. Put new wheels on. You can get a. Um, well. You can get a rebuild kit for I think six dollars. And you can replace all the, the rollers. Look at them go. update all of these boxes are now empty and this is what the tea section looks like now so these are the ones that I go for most so I have the green ginger and green tea with mint and then peachy green so these are my green teas my chai tea and then chamomile tea and then these ones that are sideways here are dessert teas I think it's the vanilla bean macaroon and then this there's so much um but we have it organized like these are all the herbal teas on this side and then these are the or this row here is caffeine tea and then this is peach i couldn't take these out of the boxes because they're individual bags but yeah so now if you want to pick a tea you can come in see what that is or what it is so we have honey lavender Peppermints over here is the women's raspberry leaf tea and then detox tea red clover so yeah that's this whole section this is barely fitting in here I need an, a, like a big clear tin so that I can update this but it's what we have in the house so that's what I'm going to use and then I pulled my coffee out of this bin and I've just kind of lined up all the bags right here and still going all right, I'm taking a break again. It is currently 4.25 and I'll show you guys an update. It's still chaos in the kitchen, but it's coming along really well. So this is what it looks like so far and this is organized. So we have all the cereals here organized and then my protein powders here. This is the chocolate and then all of the vanillas and then crackers and then the chip section organized all tortilla all pretzels, all Cheetos or Cheeto popcorn, cheddar Pringles, Cheez-Its, potato chips. This, see the glass jars? I love them. Um, but this is, see, I would like to, like to get really big ones of these and then combine this, but this is all of the granola, oatmeal, nuts, and I have so many nuts. Why? I don't know. This is the rice section canned beans I have six cans of beans and then the bag of beans is behind it tea coffee all tomato sauce all corn no I lied sweet peas are on the bottom row going back and then corn is on the top row this is all green beans these are all of Larry's soups so this is stuff that we've bought over the years for like hurricane recovery kind of stuff like that so sirloin burger all in one row vegetable beef or old-fashioned beef vegetable all in a row chicken noodle all in a row except for the creamy chicken and dumplings chicken and wild rice savory vegetable and then this row is either vegetarian vegetable or vegetable and then these are my soups so all organized so you know how many of what you have before you run out down here is all of Lexi Kitty's food and then her dishes ramen noodle packs and chili seasonings and taco seasonings noodles soup noodles spaghetti noodles um and this is kind of where it got randomized but we have au gratin potatoes taco shells um my sauces that i use for spaghetti and then pineapple slices and then ranch buy one get one red hot buy one get one that we bought a while back and then tomato and ketchup those are extras so that's what we have on the shelf so far and that's pretty much it for our pantry I have to add this bag of tortillas and some stuff but that's I mean all the food is almost put away so this is the pantry almost done not quite almost Actually, that's all the food done, except for the little bits that are on the thing. But I need to take a break. I need to chill. I'm going out with Larry and this crazy fool. You got in. Got in the pool. I think he is nuts. <laughs> he jumped in. I was like, he. I came out here and he was in his shorts, his swimming trunks. And I'm like, 
Are you getting in? And he sure did get in. Look at this. Is it freezing? You are full of it. I would have screamed bloody murder getting into that pool water. Is it a lot colder at the bottom? Tell the truth. Uh, I'm still in <laughs> Is that a yes or a no? I'm not sure. Oh man. It's finished. Yay. And all the counter space is cleared off. It is now six o'clock or actually technically it's eight minutes till six. And it took all day. I think we started at around 11. So it was a long project. <laughs> But here it is. So at the bottom we have one case of water, propane tanks, Larry's Propel Beverages, Gatorade, bleach and vinegar cleaner. And then Lexi's food, ramen noodles, regular noodles, random bits. Over here is cooking supplies and other stuff. Other stuff. <laughs> Coffee. Storage bags and coffee maker, coffee grinder, and then a few Christmas items, paper towels, peanut butter, and then protein powder, cereals. Over here is the chips. And then I showed you guys this earlier. But yeah, this, this is pretty much it. This is the pantry. Now that it's all organized, we can see exactly how much of what we have and what we have. And I think it looks so much more organized. I mean, before you couldn't even tell what was in here. You didn't know how much you had. It looked like a ton of stuff. And now it's just super clean, neat, and organized. I still need to do the floors, but I am too tired to do that today. And then on this side, we have the vacuum and other stuff. And we went probably over a year without any lighting in here. Yeah. The whole fixture was deteriorated and was broke and it didn't work. And I took it down so it didn't catch fire. But we had this installed when the office project was going on. And then we have light. Yay. And the counters are nice and clear. I just loaded the dishwasher with some of the stuff. And I just washed these Tupperware containers in that Halloween bin. But all of this is now cleared off. And this here is still from our painting project. That's all Larry. I'm making Larry do that. Because <laughs> I don't know where to put the paint tubs. I can do it. So, that's it. Holy cow. We are done. Originally, I had plans for this to go up on today's Friday, Saturday. But with it being 6 o'clock, I am going to put up the five, long, love, long, the five love languages video tomorrow instead. And then you guys will see this vlog on Sunday. So... We're going to end this vlog here. It's time to eat dinner. I'm going to make spaghetti. Spaghetti. And we're going to catch up on some shows or a movie or something. And um, we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye. Bye.